Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle D Boops from Vern Foster. Now, I, I found this on Pinterest. It's really cute. It's, uh, it makes me think of ah, but it's different. So I thought, well, let's, let's have fun with this and share it. So it starts off, and you, you know it's not going to matter. But with a, well, you know, let me do what the, uh, uh, the tangle shows. So he has, uh, not, I'm not looking at it. So a long line, short line, long line, short line. This is so simple. And at the base, so I would assume, you know, if you want to make more, of course, but at the base, just put a big orb, then... From the longer lines, and this is starting right on, right at the end, no gap, a couple big orbs on the longer ones, and then on the smaller ones, three smaller dot. dots or orbs, whatever way you want to think about it. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> Except that you can have as you know as much fun with this as you wish so let's do that <laughs> okay so this is how it's how he has it and so here is some some fun i kind of thought it was neat to do and you know it might have been on on the step out uh i don't know which direction i want to start well, let's just start here and I'll just go, yeah, long, short, long, short, and it doesn't matter, although I did want to get it more in the corner, but it just doesn't matter. It's all good. Okay, like that. And we'll do the same thing. It's just a really neat, like I said, accent tangle that you could do so many things with. Now, it, while I'm doing this, and I'm going to do it the other corner too. If you, ha Vern, if you ever watch this, and you have, a, if you have a website or someplace, I can, I can uh, post your, um, your step outs directly from, because this is what I like to do. So, if anybody happens to know of Vern Foster, I did some searching, and I, I found nothing. Um, okay, I'm going to do it on the other corner too. Let's see if I can get... Oh, wait, I forgot to put the big ball there. It's just nice because it just kind of anchors that. All right, let's see if I can do it. More starting from the corner. Um, so anyway, so I do research to try to, you know, it's like if I find it on Pinterest and it's not posted by... Oops, let's put that in there first. It doesn't matter what order these are in. Um... It, it wasn't per posted by Vern, and I saw several of them. And so I, I I did a number of searches, the places that I usually go to for tangles, like tangle patterns, because this, the form is a, is a tangle patterns form, but it, it doesn't mean that he, you know, submitted it or that it was accepted. Um, I understand that uh, Linda retires tangles or something like that. I don't know if there's a list. I haven't looked either. But, uh, but anyway, I always like to point these to the person so that way, look at how cute that is, right? Um, so we can point it right to their stuff so you can see their other stuff. I, that's just what I like to do. And um, so anyway, if, if put it in the comments you know, so that way uh, I can, uh, can repoint that to, uh, directly to them. Okay, so there's a couple ideas. And then the other one is... Uh, and I'm going to put this in the, I have a, uh, what do I call it, celebration or celebratory or something like that, uh, tangles, and that is where ah uh, is, I guess, I'm, I guess I'm going all the way around, but you know what, I don't want to, because I want to kind of go the other way, there we go. Sorry, I'm off the thing. I 
could have made these longer, but that's all right. And this isn't up to, I, I did this one, right, where I just, I, I went, you know, whatever was coming in line. But then as I was doing it, I'm like, you know, what? I think I kind of rather do one type of dot at a time. You know, it's one of those kind of sounds silly, but it uh, it's the repetition that is some of the magic. Well, actually, it is the magic if you're wanting to do this as a meditative or mindfulness exercise. So every little bit like this helps where, you know, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. But I, like I said, I saw this and, and I hesitated sharing because, I, I, I like I said, I like to find... Um, <laughs> You know, have it linked to the person's thing, but it's just so neat and so cute. I couldn't resist. So there we are. Have it. Let's see which way do I want to do that. <laughs> just three ways that you can have fun with this. Um, and again, take a look at the For More Inspiration link so you can see Vern's work and get some other ideas. But it's just such a cute little... Oh, wait, but wait, there's more. Um, little accent tangle. It's so neat. Now, shading, you might think. Oh, how, how on earth would we shade it? Well, you know, my, my little rules for myself, where things gather, just put a little graphite, oops, and bring it up. You know, it doesn't have to go real far, but, but look, at, look at the difference. Well, oh no, never mind. Never mind, that has some graphite in it already. I just didn't spread it out. But you can see. So you could do something like that. And this, I would just yeah put it right in that center. Oh, something else you might do. Let's do it on, let's do it on this one, maybe. Could just put graphite on top. Well, I'm just gonna do the long ones. We'll do the this the bottom one here. Ooh, look at that! Actually, if you even if you did it just to one side, even though it's a, just a just a line, a straight line. Look at look at that. So it's kind of neat. I, you know, I kind of like that. Look at the dimension that that adds compared to this. Super interesting. Let's try it, this one, but really just putting it on the one side. And I'm just doing the long ones. So it is just, oh, ah, grabbed one that had some color on it. Um, it's just one of those if you want to type of things. You know, and of course you could also with what's left on your tortillon. Put a little dot, you know, of graphite. Up to you, of course. So anyway, I almost, almost forgot because I'm like, yeah, we can shade this. We can, we can add graphite to almost anything. Now, if you were, well, as I had grabbed my tortillon that has, um, you know, the, the General's Chalk Pencil is what I like to use. Well, that and the Conti, um, the Paris, the, the Paris, yeah. Anyway, chalk pencils. Um, so you could put a little color doing the same thing if you wanted to. Super neat. All right. So if you enjoyed this, and I hope you did, please click on the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. I mentioned the description section already for the links to the step outs. Uh, below that is my link tree. So if you would like to connect, if you'd like to uh, tangle with me online, uh, I do classes Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursdays are free. Um, every once in a while, we, and we just went through a couple of days, and I know I have one other day that I have to shift things, um, but I... I usually shift them to another day uh, versus just canceling. But generally, on Thursdays, I do two sessions of everything I do. I do two sessions. And um, 
the free one is called Tangle Time. Oh, and also Tough Tangle Tuesday. And then all of the other sessions are paid or uh, something for our club members. So, um, so come check it out. All the links are there. It's self-explanatory. Also, I do want to highlight if you are uh, on Facebook um, and would like to be a part of our Tangle Addicts community, there is a link. There are four questions that you have to answer. Um, but I just like to make sure to mention that because we have so much fun. It's such a great group of people. Uh, I just want to mention it every time. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.